In our meeting today with President Abdiaziz, we discussed the importance of continuing good relations between the federal government of Somalia and the federal member states. We are encouraged by the revitalization of the dialogue between the federal government and all of the federal member states. This has included the series of meetings in Dusa Mareb in recent months and the consultative meetings in Mogadishu in September during which the agreement on the elections model was reached. We appreciate President Abdiaziz's leadership at many stages of this process. The results of those meetings demonstrated what can be achieved when Somalia's leaders come together in a spirit of consensus and collaboration for the good of the country. We urge the leaders to continue in this manner with the preparations for the national elections so that they are underpinned by transparency, fairness, and inclusivity. This applies to all aspects of the electoral process, such as the formation of federal and state level independent electoral committees, the dispute resolution committee, and election security committee. We also encourage Somalia's leaders to expend, extend their cooperation into additional areas, such as the constitutional review and other processes that can help advance national priorities, democratic reforms, and essential freedoms, such as freedom of speech and freedom of the press. These are all key components of a lively democratic system that will allow Somali voices to be heard. <laughs> Somalia, 